Welcome to the nest, boss. We was one. or something you said we ain't allowed to kill any of them so tell me did you have to wait in a long line to see me no i'll walk right up here exactly most can handle their own shit without bothering me about it do you need help finding your place here no no i can handle it there's plenty of collars in the kennels if you can. Life's too short for bullshit. Got a party like it's your Excuse last me. day. Now that Every I get a closer day. look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. We're all in this together. This can be good for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Sure, boss. We're gonna be one big happy family. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be over, boss, for now, but I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Your people aren't gonna cause me any problems, are they? The pack does what I tell them. You don't get in my way, they won't get in yours. Let's work together, please. I'm not interested in ruining your gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right between us. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to. If you turn out to be a turd. At least it ain't Mags Black, that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. I have big plans for this place. You'll see. Maybe you're the real deal. But we thought Coulter was the real deal, too. He's laying in a pool of his own blood. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. But things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what they achieved. I'm listening. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chip of bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast, but Gage put the brakes on that. Got us together and promised he'd find someone to deal with Coulter. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. Story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. You can trust me. I'm a good leader. No offense, but you just got here. We'll see what you can do. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack? Oh there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You got enough to worry about without a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street.